Hi everybody, this is Misha. Today I'm going to teach you a trick to help ear infections. It involves lemons. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Is this a familiar sight to any of you? Um, your, your kiddo's sick on the couch and many times like, <laughs> Sometimes they're on the brink of, should I go to the doctor or should I just let them ride it out? So this tip has worked for me 100% of the time, you guys. That's pretty like, especially for like a natural cure, a natural remedy, that's a pretty um, bold statement to say. Um, and you know what, I'll be honest with you, I know that my sister is actually her husband that used it and he did not have success from it. But I think that's because it was an inner ear infection. All of my kids' ear infections, um, it has cured and it has saved our family from rounds of antibiotics and trips to the doctor. And the deal is, <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's just lemon. You can use lemons and you can also use lemon juice concentrate. I've only ever had to repeat this once. One time one of my children came to me in the evening and their ear was hurting and I was like, oh shoot, we better get on that right away. And so we did the treatment and in the morning he woke up and I still had to repeat the treatment. So. That's the only time I've ever had to repeat the treatment. Um, every other time it has worked. Right, Tice? <laughs> so Tice is homesick today, and um, we're just gonna show you. We're gonna show you a tiny bit um, of a trick that has saved our family. You get the lemon juice and you pour it in their ear. It doesn't hurt them, it's cold. So you just wanna prep them. It's shocking maybe for a minute just because it's cold. And then they just leave it, they stay on that side, and they let the lemon juice sit and you time three minutes. And then take some paper towels and fold it up and I put it over their ear and turn them over. So typically, sometimes you can have like double ear infections, but maybe you only have one side and you really only need to do that one side. And it takes it away so quickly. My understanding is that the acidity level affects the pH of the ear and it kills the bacteria. So. It has worked for me. And this is something that I'm like, if I'm, I am, for me personally, I'm all about anything that I can do at home and that's natural, I'm, I am on that train. I love medicine, I love medical, but I also think that there's a healthy balance between the two. So I don't run to the, to the doctor every single time my kids get a little bit sick. Um, fevers are good, they, they help your kids sweat it out. And here's, here's just a little, here's just a little tip. New mamas, if your baby is sick and um, acting irritable, it's super simple to tell if they have an ear infection. All that you do is you press right here on their, on their ear, right, by, right next to their ear. And if they pull away quickly, you'll know immediately that's an ear infection. Normally that's not something that would bother them. You can push right there and it doesn't hurt. So get the lemon juice in there, get it going, and you'll, they'll be so much happier really, really soon. And when they're too young to understand, just to hold still, you have to hold them down and kind of brace them. And they cry a little bit, but you just sing them a little song and just hold them so that the, the lemon juice can stay in their ear. And then you, when you let it drain out, it seriously makes everything better. It's awesome. <laughs> Another thing for new mamas, if your baby is getting repeat ear infections, this is just something that I didn't know when I was a new mom, and I think we learn so much as we go along, we need to share it. Um, keep their ears out of the water. So when you put them in the bath, make sure that their ears don't go underneath the water. Keep, keep their heads propped up if they're getting those repeat ear infections, and that will help a lot. Hey, P.S. you guys, if the eardrum is ruptured, you should not be putting any liquid in the ear, okay? So just, just know that I'm not recommending that. If you have a ruptured eardrum, there's, I would go to the doctor. So just a, just, just a PS on that. But if it's at the new level of, I, I'm just feeling my ear hurting, get the lemon juice in there and prevent that rupture. Thank you for watching. I hope that this tip helps your family. I hope it <laughs> saves you lots of money and just running to the doctor and time. And you know the other thing? I hope it saves you from exposing your kids to the other sick kids at the doctor just because they have a simple ear infection. Enjoy the tip, let me know if it helps. Leave comments below. And if you guys want more tips like this, subscribe. I'm committed to making your life easier and help you live a life that you love. Enjoy the tip.